If you like tech and stuff then do check out our new channel Technomera link on the screen and description box below Okay so to do this effect you're going to need a song obviously with some beats and a bass point like in this song of mine you can hear some beats and the bass line and for this tutorial I'm going to use the legendary Sir Michael Jackson dance video Oh my god <laughs> Okay, at first take the song and put it into the timeline. Okay, so you will notice these orange markers. Well, I tried Filmora beat detection on this song to save time, but it turned out to be bad. So I'm going to delete these markers and I'm going to put them manually. So I also suggest you to put them manually. Okay, so let's play the song and listen for the beat. Here is the first one. So I'm gonna click on this icon here to add a custom marker at the beat position in the song. Now let's add another one for the bass line too. Here is another beat, let's mark it too. Okay, so let's expand the waveform a bit. And also let's expand the music timeline a bit too, so that we can able to accurately see our beat marking in the song. Now, mark the beats as you listen to the song. Remember to mark them accurately. I'm gonna fast forward this portion. Okay, so once the beat markers are done, listen again to see if the markers are in a sync with the beats. Okay, so here we have the song with the markers on the beats. Okay, now comes the second part. In this part, we're gonna add the video. As I said, I was going to use the Michael Jackson video. Now, take your video and put it above the music. Also, remember, the idea behind the velocity effect is to slow down the video and then suddenly speed it up and then again slow down the video or vice versa. Now, I'm going to the point from where I want the video to have the effect. I want some Michael's dance portion. Here it is. Okay, so now I'm gonna split the clip here. I'm gonna delete this first portion because I don't need it. Okay, now let's take our video to the portions where the beat markers are. Okay, now since my video is in normal speed, I will click on this speedometer icon and then I will go into the custom speed and decrease it by around 30%, which basically means that my video is now 70% of its original speed. You can choose whatever speed you want to decrease or increase with as per your liking. Okay, now in my video, I want a portion with the impact. Like here, I can see that Sir Michael's gonna do a spin. So I will go to the position where he is just about to spin and then I will split the video there. Well, let's expand the timeline a bit for better viewing. Now let's take the second portion at the first beat marker. And also let's take the first portion behind it too. Okay, now click on the second clip. And then again click on this speedometer icon and now make it fast as any number of times you want. I'm going with two times here, that is like 200% speed of the original video. So if I play then you can see Sir Michael's gonna spin fast with the beat. Okay, like I said before, slow, then fast, then slow again. So now since my spin is complete, I will go to the portion where the spin ends. It's my choice to choose the spin ending position. You can choose any portion in your video where you want to slow the clip again. Okay, now I will split the clip here and then again, I will change the speed to 70%. Now at the point of the second marker, I will again split the clip and then change the speed to about two times again. And then this time on the third marker, I will split the clip and change the speed back to 70%. Okay now, I know that you will have a question arising in your mind. Is that why I have split my clip at the first time before the second marker? But this time I am splitting the clip at the third marker to slow it down. Why didn't I split the clip before the third marker to slow it down? 
So to answer your query, it goes something like this. It actually depends on the song. Okay, so you can have a song with beats having a playback difference to around 1 or 2 seconds. Or you can have a song with very fast beats with much closer distance like in milliseconds. So the condition to speeding of the clip and then slowing it down again totally depends on the song and your choice. Well, you can't just blindly follow my approach and say to me that man, that didn't work out for me. And the reason is because your song will going to have a different variation of the beat. So it's all about your song. There is no hack to it. It's all about trial and error. Just like for me now, you can see that I'm slowing the clip and speeding them up and then again slowing them down as per my music. You see, it is all about trial and error or you can say practice. Now since I have my video edited on my music, so let's see the final result. Right now, it looks kind of incomplete. Well, we can add some custom transitions and filter to make it look more better. Just like the way I did in my intro video. So guys, remember, it is all about practice and the types of the beat that your song has but the approach is same slow down the clip then speed it up and then again slow it down or speed up the clip then slow it down and then again speed it up it's your choice whatever approach you want to go for and guys that is how you do a velocity edit in filmora so guys what are your thoughts on this video let me know in the comment section below and if you think that this video is worthwhile then hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe to my channel so that i can able to bring amazing videos just like this for you till then see you later